Good morning, toddler one. I hope everyone's doing well today. Yesterday, Maura Karen talked to you about caterpillars and you guys made a caterpillar together. This morning in Zoom class, we said how caterpillars build a home around themselves called a cocoon and they sleep inside the cocoon for about two weeks and when they wake up and they come out, they're not caterpillars anymore, but they are beautiful butterflies. In the springtime, thousands of butterflies come out of their cocoons and they're flying all over. If you go outside, you might be lucky enough to see some. And I wonder what colors you would see because guess what? Butterflies can be all different colors. Look at some of these. There's orange and yellow and green and blue. And there's even a pink one on the bottom. You see that? So today we're gonna make a very colorful butterfly together. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the wings of the butterfly. The butterfly has wings that it uses to fly and it flies from flower to flower. Do you know why it flies onto the flower? Because that's where it gets its food. It drinks nectar. Can you say nectar? It drinks nectar from the flower. Now to make the wings, I wanted both sides of my butterfly to have the same shape wings. That's called symmetrical, when one side is the same as the other. So I took a piece of paper, I folded my paper in half, and very carefully with scissors, if you need help from your mommy or daddy for this part, that's okay. I took the scissors and I cut it while it was folded so that both sides would be the same. It would be symmetrical. The shape doesn't matter so much. It can be any shape that you want. And look, when I open it up, both sides are the same. And I have wings for my butterfly. So now to decorate the wings, we're gonna take a glue stick, okay? You're gonna put glue all over your wings. And then you're gonna take pieces of tissue paper and we're gonna glue it to the butterfly. Now I have so many different colors. I have red, orange, blue, green, pink, yellow, and purple. Now I want to fill up the other side also. I'm going to put all of them on the other side too. You can fill it up however you'd like. If you don't have tissue paper, you can color or you can use markers or dot dot art, you can decorate it however you would like. Okay. Now once we're done with the wings, we're gonna make the body of the butterfly. The body goes in the middle. Now if you have a toilet paper roll, you can use that for the body. But I didn't use a toilet paper roll. I took a piece of paper, I cut the paper in half, and I decorated it using dot dot art. You can use markers or crayons and decorate it however you want. And then I rolled up my paper and I put a piece of tape so that it stays together. So this was mine that I did before. You see how I colored it? Okay, so it's a roll. And then I'm going to use my glue stick I'm going to put glue in the middle of my butterfly and I'm going to glue my body to the middle. Okay, want to see how that is? Okay, now what else does the butterfly need? The butterfly needs some eyes to see, right? 
we're gonna put two eyes on the body. One, two, so my butterfly can see. And then, do you know what else a butterfly has? Look at this picture. These on the top, these are called antenna. Do you know what it does with its antenna? It uses its antenna to smell. We use our noses to smell and a butterfly uses its antenna to smell. And it also uses its antenna to feel things and touch. So I'm going to use two pieces of pipe cleaner and two pom-poms to make my antenna. It's easier for me to do it with tape, so I'm gonna use tape, but you could also use glue to glue down the pipe cleaners. We're gonna glue or tape the pipe cleaners inside the body. So they're sticking out from the top, from the head, right? Look, you see the antenna on the top? And now I'm gonna put glue on my pom-pom. I'm gonna stick my pom-pom to the top of the antenna. One. Two. And there is my beautiful butterfly. Okay, hope you guys have fun doing it. See you tomorrow.